Hey guys, it's your boy FTO back again with another video. And today, as you can tell by the title below, it's a video about the top 10 most skillful players of all time. Now, I must stress, it's my top 10. Obviously, everyone might be slightly different, but yeah, let's get straight into it. Obviously, to get into this list, you must be, you know, plain outright like rude like showboats skills everything the whole lot we all love it it's all entertaining so yeah let's get straight into it now at number 10 for me it's got to be the one and only ricardo carisma now he's the portuguese guy who personally for me didn't reach his potential this guy had skills for days like literally he would go past you with like the footwork the speed was just outrageous i'll have like videos playing of you know stuff he done absolutely amazing and to be honest only his attitude stopped him from being you know a, a, a better player to be honest because but for me he was like the original Cristiano ronaldo you know he had all of it the skills the shots everything the header in everything but you know his attitude wasn't the best and i think he could have done better with his career personally that's my own personal view but in terms of skills definitely definitely up there with the best i mean oh god honestly it's just outrageous like he used to like rabona casually in a game like it was a casual thing you'll do like three four in a game absolutely outrageous stuff moving on to ninth place it's the one and only johan Cruyff. now obviously we've all heard the news you know in the past week of his passing which is really sad you know um i can't believe it to be honest he's an amazing player um i didn't actually get to watch him play while you know watch him play while he was actually playing i've only seen videos um but what i've seen of him absolutely amazing i mean obviously we all know about the um Cruyff turn so the fact that he's got a skill named after him just shows you you know how much of a skillful player this guy is and not only that he's a skillful guy but he actually also had a brain so i don't know if you've seen his penalty where he's you know he's passed it into the player because you can actually hit a penalty once touch the ball once it doesn't have to go towards the goal as long as you touch it once his player runs in lays it back and he finishes for me, that is skill. It's intelligence and, you know, it's, you know, thinking outside the box. And I count that as skill. And by the way, there's going to be a player that I'm not going to mention in my top 10, which a lot of you are going to be like, how come you didn't mention him? But, well, wait till the end of the video and you'll find out who that player is. Eighth place is a... Um, player that not that many people will probably know a lot of you might not know this player but his name is Garincha he's actually a Brazilian player uh, who was playing in the, around the 60s absolutely amazing now the first thing I'm actually going to tell you about this guy is that he had like a defect with his legs so his right leg actually pointed outwards while his left leg was six centimeters shorter than his right leg and also pointed inside well inwards not inside inwards yeah inwards so yeah he you know it you'd expect him not to be that great with his feet but well it was a total opposite the guy was absolutely amazing his skills were way ahead of his time like this guy i mean in 1962 pele didn't play in the world cup yeah and this guy literally you know helped and led brazil to winning that world cup he was the best player um in that tournament also you know the most scored the most goals in that tournament way ahead of his time um uh, and definitely deserves eight place now moving on to seventh it's the one and only jj okocha now as a commentator said so good they named him twice this guy was really good now it's actually widely reported if you do a bit of research that jj okocha was actually one of ronaldinho's um, mentors while he was at psg so that's something to check out and to know you know realize how good jj okocha was the skills this guy had done was that's outrageous and the thing is he didn't do it just to go past you he done it to like embarrass you to make you look silly that's the thing a lot of these players that are in my list they you know they don't just do the skills they actually do it to almost embarrass the players they're just basically showboaters and to be honest we all love them well i do anyway so yeah jj okocha actually amazing after that one of the most iconic skillful goals was actually scored by this guy against Oliver Kahn. Now I have a, uh, I have a video of that definitely up some at some point while I'm talking about him. 
absolutely amazing. He's like, he goes past like six players in the box and then puts it past, you know, one of the best um, goalkeepers of all time in Oliver Kahn. And he just slots it, at, just casually past him. It's absolutely ridiculous, that goal. And then he came into the Premier League and done the exact same thing. Sixth place, um, it's Rabinho, one and only Brazilian Rabinho, who obviously we all know started in Brazil. He was actually, you know, recognised as probably going to be the next Pele. He probably didn't leave, you know, live up to that, you know, to the Pele, but definitely lived up to the skills. Absolutely amazing. For me, personally, he is the step over king. This guy's step overs are just beautiful to watch. Like, it's just one after the other. He's not stressing about it and he will go past you every time. Obviously, he got his move from Santos to Spain at Real Madrid, where he tore it up there as well. Absolutely amazing at Real Madrid. And then Man City came into the Premier League and gave us a bit of that samba, you know, that Brazilian samba. Absolutely amazing. There was a bit where he, like, made, um, I think it was David James, like, literally claw, um, like, claw his way and crawl his way to the um, to the ball and still didn't manage to get it while he dragged it away from him. Absolutely amazing, Rabino. Definitely in my top 10. Now, moving on, where are we at? So, guys, number five, it's the one and only, well, it's another Brazilian, to be honest. Yes, it's Neymar of um, Barcelona, as you probably know by now. Well, I hope you know. Um, and yes, he started his career at Santos, where he was absolutely tearing it up. Just literally, this guy was doing everything, the tricks, rainbow flicks. He was inventing skills as the games went along, literally. And not only that, he done them to embarrass. Like, this guy was like 18 at the time while he was at Santos, like 18, 17. And he was just embarrassing grown professionals in their 30s, like flicking it over their head. There was times, you know, he got kicked because to be honest, he had taken the mick and the piss too much. But then obviously we all know he got his move to, um, Barcelona and personally I didn't think he would be able to carry on that's my personal view I thought he was a bit too skinny at the time when he made the move and he you know I just thought European football would just be a bit too hefty for him and he just shut me up he shut all these critics a lot of people were saying that came to Barcelona and has just been tearing it up ever since like the guy has just been taking it up a level a level now he's only in fifth place right now but I'm sure by the time you know he finishes his career or gets you know a bit old um, older because he's still really young I'm sure he'll be up in my list but at the moment he's in fifth place he's tearing it up in um for Barcelona you know little touches with the ball coming up in the air in the Champions League and touching it with his leg on the other side all sorts like the guy runs with the ball on his head absolutely amazing to see um from Neymar absolutely love watching these games then it's another Brazilian. Yeah, you, as you would expect, you just expect to be, uh, you know, loads of Brazilians in this list. To be honest, it's a top 10 most skillful players of all time. There has to be quite a few Brazilians. That's what they're known for. But yes, in fourth place, it's the one and only Ronaldo. Yes, or is it not also known, Fat Ronaldo from Brazil. Now, a lot of you guys might not remember watching this guy. I just remember watching him while I was like a really small kid. Um, this guy step overs absolutely amazing mind-boggling like he played for like psv inter milan um barcelona like name it he played for him real madrid played for everyone um and there's a reason for that that's because he was that good he was so entertaining and the thing about ronaldo a lot of people don't realize a lot of the people in this list that i'm mentioning are midfielders so you know Okocha, neymar um cruyff um charisma a lot of them are midfielders and he is not he's the only striker really in this list that i'm about to say um and yeah it just shows how talented this guy was so he wasn't doing it in midfield he was doing it in and around the box where there's you know it's really tight and the guy would do a step over an elastico and go past the player like they weren't even there and this was like in the early 90s he was doing this early 2000s he was doing this absolutely amazing and definitely deserves to be in my top four now we're getting really close now we're in third place now and third place goes to the one and only Zidane now a lot of you might be thinking but Zidane he's not as skillful as you know as showboat he is maybe JJ Okocha or Neymar but believe you me this guy had skills 
the days. I don't know if you know or remember the Zidane roulette or Zidane turn where he, you know, swivels on the ball and goes past. He used that like in every game. Everyone knew it was coming, but there was nothing you could do about it. Absolutely amazing to see from Zidane, an amazing player, an amazing career. Ended it by headbutting someone, which in itself is a pretty damn good skill. Really miss, um, you know, seeing Zidane because he, he had a bit of elegance to his kind of skills. He wasn't as showboaty as a lot of the other people in my list, but nevertheless, for me, his skills were, you know, classical, let's say. Classical? I don't think that's the right word, but you know what I mean, guys. And now it's down to second place, and second place goes to Cristiano Ronaldo, obviously of Real Madrid. Now at Sporting Lisbon, this guy was bossing it. He then obviously played Manchester United, um, where he absolutely tore the defence um, apart in the Champions League. And on that note, you know, Gary Neville and a few of the other players at the time said to Alex Ferguson, said, you know what, you need to sign this guy. So he's moved to Manchester United, tore it up there. And to be fair, I know a lot of you might be thinking this, well, I'll just say it up straight. He's not as skillful as he was when he was younger. His game slightly changed. Still a very skillful player, but for me, he, you know, in his younger days, the guy was just unstoppable with his skills you know he had the Ronaldo chop he's made that him you know made that his own now almost when you think about that skill you think about Ronaldo the step overs you know the dummies all of that kind of stuff he take it he, the guy make takes touches with his bum with his back in games at this level like it's just ridiculous to be doing that but yeah when you're that skillful when you're that good you are able to do that so yeah Chris Ronaldo definitely deserves to be in my top two now finally guys we are at number one now number one for me guys this guy i don't think there will ever be a more skillful player than this guy personally that's my own personal view it's a one and only ronaldinho absolutely amazing this guy just made he brought us i would watch these matches and be smiling literally like this because he was that entertaining. In games, he would do the most outrageous stuff. Like in the El Clasico, he's the only player I have actually seen in more than one El Clasico to get a round of applause from both set of fans. So from the Real Madrid fans, as well as the Barcelona fans, because it was, he's just that good. He'll take the ball over someone, you know, play it over their head. The defender will be coming back again. He will, you want a bit want it again? Take it over that guy's head. Oh look, there's one coming in now. Take it over his head, chest it, you know, all in the space of about a meter. Do all of that. Absolutely amazing. You know what? And to be honest, I'm really upset, you know, that he isn't playing, you know, on a big stage as much anymore. Because to be honest, I think he's still got it. That kind of stuff you never lose. And personally, I don't feel like there will be a you know a player ever like him again back to that player that i was saying that you know a lot of you will be saying why did i not put him yes i know it's the one and only lionel messi well i didn't put him in the um top 10 because for me he's a slightly different player really talented one of the best of all time definitely but in terms of you know the skills that he used they're not really as showboaty as the people in this list that I've, um, you know, said. So um, I'm sure a lot of you will have Messi in your top 10 uh, for the most skillful players of all time, but he doesn't really meet my kind of criteria to fit into my list. But guys, I would love for you guys to let me know what your top 10 most skillful players are of all time. Leave it in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. And if you did like the video, smash a like. Peace.